started playing trumpet in uh, elementary school, and then I moved to guitar. And from that point on, then I went into uh, uh, theater, and then, then it gravitated to radio. But music was always first. So the time I really started to get on the air was 18, 1981 at a station in Cleveland called WJMO, one of those old AM stations. They were always down at the other end of the dial, 1490. When I, that's when I started as an announcer. And that was, my first shift was uh, 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I would come in at 2 a.m. in the morning and work for those four hours overnight at a station that was behind a graveyard under a bridge it looked like a gas station. Back in those days, that's how radio stations used to look. It looked like an outpost in the uh, North Pole, you know. Matter of fact, it got so cold back in those days, you had to bring your own heater to work with you. You bring your own heater, otherwise you would freeze while you're on the air, doing your, doing your show with a coat on. Well, I always want, I never let the music go. And I always like to play live. And I always believe that if you're gonna be on stage, you need to do something. I never like to just host and hold a microphone. I figure if I can entertain people because of my theater background, then I feel being on stage was, was worth it. And so I got together with some of the greatest musicians. This town is filled with great musicians. This is New York City. The musicians everywhere. And they're always looking for opportunities. And I figure I'm on the radio, I can, find clubs to play at and then it'd be a great way to promote myself because there's no I don't know any other musician on the air that plays an instrument uh, I don't I mean not in black radio you know I mean really play and live with the instrument so I'm really the only one around here that does that and uh, so even when I started I realized I had a lot to learn because these guys I work with in New York are real circuit musicians they're great musicians so it took close to 20 years for me to learn how to perform live uh, in front of a New York audience and be proficient in my instrument. And, I, and that's why I think it's time for me to release this record. I think they're gonna be uh, really surprised. They're gonna hear some great uh, jazz instrumentals, uh, great music for when you're, when you're driving and it's a nice sunny day and you got the top down and the windows down and the sunroof open and you just want to cruise, great music like that. And you got great music if you just want to chill. If you had a rough day, you can throw this on and it'll relax you. And then you've got some great R&B cuts there that have a positive message in there. I found some, some great talent. I'm working with some of the guys I've been working with through the years. Uh, but I want to showcase them as well. Uh, we have some songs on there that are blues based. They, they cut to the core of what R&B was really about. Uh, some songs on there that are gospel based. All this makes up uh, the entire mosaic of my musical experience. So it's gonna be a very, very interesting album. A lot of these songs I've written may go back 20 years. Uh, some songs I, uh, may go as early as a few months ago. So it's a far range of ideas that I decided to put together and uh, let the people hear. And this was a uh, a wonderful opportunity. I'm working with Bernard Bell, who is Regina Bell's brother, but he has his own credits because he's the guy that uh, wrote and produced Remember the Time for Michael Jackson and, and a lot of songs on that Dangerous album. He also uh, was a part of the Guy album, the first Guy album. He wrote and produced that. He wrote and produced songs for Glenn Jones, I've Been Searching. He wrote The Kissing Game from High Five and a whole lot of things. So yeah, I'm working with him. He's produced about five cuts on the album, and uh, Ivan Ramirez, who's a, a wonderful producer, has produced about uh, three or four cuts. We all produce those cuts together, so it's gonna be really wonderful.